back. Got my eye on my eye on the prize, so I don't do distractions. I'm coming back. Ooh. They call me Your collar jacket. Jacket. Wait, wait, wait. Jacket. Shirt man. Y'all see what I'm repping. Y'all see what I'm repping. I don't repping. know why he's repping now. Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lou. We back it with another banger for y'all. And man, as y'all can see, I was repping my team. I'm proudly repping my team. We going to get there. We going to get there. But first, we got to, you know, we're going to talk about the postseason. We're going to talk mm. about all the teams in the postseason. Because, you know, you got to catch up. Mm -hmm. And it's Super Bowl time. So, you know, we got to talk Super Bowl stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I guess there's a lot of surprises. A lot of surprises, I'd say, in, in the in the playoffs, postseason. Yeah, Wild card. was the biggest surprise. Huh? How about them Cowboys? Them Cowboys was <laughs> one of many surprises. That was a surprise. Bucks beat the. Actually, I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't even call that a surprise. Nah, I wouldn't call was, that a surprise. I, I went like, in. I said I thought the Bucks was going to win. He was had like one win in two months. Yeah, they so. was, they was falling apart completely, and then injuries just took over on their offense. I mean, then again. That was just bad play calling, too. Like, terrible I mean, it was, play calling. It was bad play calling all season by the Eagles. Yeah. Hence why they don't have offensive coordinator anymore. He's gone. Gone. And they bought in Cowboys old offensive coordinator. Mm. And from the Chargers, Kellen Moore. Yep. So, it'll be Kellen Moore's first time with a quarterback like hers, though. He's been playing with Dak, which is more of a strong arm quarterback. Mm-hmm. And um, Justin Herbert, you know, arm talent quarterback. Hurts is good, but he's not talented as the others. But, you know, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. See on, what happens with them in Philly. On the AFC side, got the Texans and the Browns. Both surprises. Mm, I had the Texans winning. No, nah, I'm talking about both surprises to even get in the postseason. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cleveland, Brown. I thought they were plumbing that. It was a Nick Chubb week three. That was yeah. the whole offense for real. And then just the Texans, period. Yeah, CJ Stroud. Stroud. If Puka Nakua wasn't a thing, he would have won offensive rookie. Well, actually. he's. I think well, actually, I think if it's the other way around. Well, actually. I think if if CJ Stroud wasn't a thing, Puka Nakua would have won offensive rookie of the year. So I think Stroud's going to win it just because it's Quarterback, you know, how the NFL favors their quarterbacks. Probably, 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 and he took them to the divisional round. So, mm -hmm. probably. Um, Bills lose again. Bills don't lose even lose again. Lose the conference. Now, digs to New York. A Rod. That's tough. That is tough. How do you feel? Because we're going to get to the Chiefs. How do you feel about? Taylor Swift. That's fine. What? You know, I, I, I just gotta. Before I get into it, because obviously we played the Chiefs. I just want your take on it. It's just annoying. <laughs> just annoying at this point. I mean, it's cool, like her and Travis, obviously. I mean, great publicity, but, mm -hmm. you know, like, I don't need to see. Tr Taylor Swift after Isaiah Pacheco scores a touchdown after Rasheed Rice catches a pass. Like I don't need to see Taylor Swift. I, it's like uh, I forgot one rapper said, but he was like, "If I want to see Taylor Swift as much, I might as well just go to a concert." Back, back, straight out like that. But I see what the NFL are doing. I mean, they're smart. Money grab. They're smart. So I mean, they lucky the Chiefs, I guess, pulling things together and. Came across a team, you know, who actually held them to 17 points in the same half. And still lost the game. See, man. Go ahead. Let, let it out, man. Let, let it out, man. Like, what what, what went wrong? Y'all were the favorites. You could say a lot of things went wrong. Play calling was awful. There's no way. 
Gus Edwards has a career year in touchdowns, and you run the ball with him three times. You run the ball with Justice Hill three times. Dalvin Cook didn't even touch the field. There's no way our running backs should have six carries in a playoff game against the probably the worst, actually not even probably, one of the worst running run defensive teams in football. This is no reason for that. Did Lamar play great? No, he did not play great. But people have to stop saying, oh, Lamar choked. No, Lamar was set up for failure by his coaches. He was set up for failure by his coaches. Being his coaches or, he, or people are trying to prove this narrative wrong that he is a pocket pass. We've seen Lamar be a pocket pass. We've seen him win games with his arm. That was not the time to do it. That was not the time to win the game with your arm. Now, people are going to say, oh, Zay Flowers fumbled. Did he fumbled? Yeah. I personally think Zay could have just walked right in the end zone. He didn't even have to dive. He didn't have to dive. But, and does that stop momentum? It does. But we also have to throw in flags. Referees. It happens, though. It's part of the game. It does happen. It happens. But it was just so bad. Because there's no way every every little scuffle or every everything that happened on the Chiefs offensive side, who was in the middle of it every single time? Big Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. I saw 87 in the middle of every scuffle. And we got flagged. But but somebody can hold on to Zay Flowers' his leg. He can't shove him off. Did I, I'm not going to argue against that it was taunting. No, it was taunting. But keep it on both sides, though. Keep it, keep it, keep it on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then a lot of holding calls that weren't called. You know, the offensive line for the Chiefs, all they do is hold. Shout out uh, Nick Bosa. Shout out Nick Bosa. He was spitting. But um, I had to throw the bias to the side. I'm just being real. Lamar was failed. Coaching John Harbaugh, I've I've wouldn't want to get rid of Harbaugh for 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 some time now, for some time now. This just solidified it. There was I got some stats for y'all, right? Every game in the Lamar era, playoff game, every playoff game in the Lamar era that we won, we ran the ball over eight times with our running backs, not Lamar, with our running backs. Every game we lost, we ran the ball under eight times with all our backs. Titans lost. But, you know, Lamar got the blame, of course. Yeah. Uh, Chargers lost. Lamar gets the blame, of course. And all, all this other stuff. But it's just tough, man. It, but I got over it. But it's clearly a money grab. It was obviously a money grab. Did you see John Gruden just today? He said, not John Gruden. Roger Goodell. <laughs> I don't know where I got him from. Roger Goodell. Shout right? He said literally today, oh, I think the rest are doing a great job. <laughs> there's no way players, there's no way everybody sees it but you. But as long as the Chiefs are in the championship, you know, the refs are great. I mean, man, I also heard uh, it's already starting, man, like pushing that, like, goat, goat case from Mahomes, man. I mean, because, look, uh, I heard, like, the Niners' practice facility is not as good as, like, the ones the Chiefs doing. So, like, man. you know, because I think the Niners are using the UNLV um, practice field. That's a college yeah. And the Chiefs get to use the Raiders practice facility, their own division rival. <laughs> and they're using the Raiders home locker rooms too. Disrespectful. It's crazy. Disrespectful. <laughs> um so I mean, I don't know, man. If you want to say that's a little advantage so far, the Chiefs then be my guess, but um, we'll see soon on Sunday. But back to the running point, I mean, I knew coming into like every game these playoffs, 
every team who was able to run the ball well, except for the Lions, Niners game. That game, that game, it really should be not like Lions Chiefs. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what happened that second half. Of all like that right there, you could put in like a fixed check mark in like the book for the NFL because. Bro, I don't know how all of a sudden the receivers for the Lions just drop every pass. They stop running the ball, which they had like they had like almost two hundred, I think, in the first half running the ball. Yep. There was up twenty four seven, I think I have. Like, bro, like, and then like all of a sudden they couldn't do none of that in the second half. Gibbs fumbled in his own in their own territory. Wow. <sighs> like other than that, like every team, I'm pretty sure that. Led and rushing, run the like won the game, except for that line Niners championship game, which was unfortunate. I actually thought the Lions would win. Um, well, I had them winning. Did I think it was a long shot? But they proved to be that they could play on the same field, and then just Roger made some calls that second half. <laughs> Lions Chiefs Super Man. Bowl would have been crazy, <laughs> crazy bad. I don't know what it. I don't know if it would have been bad though. I feel like the real fans would have watched, but I feel like for the for like the fans who don't know nothing, they got the best possible Super Bowl because you got a oh, historic franchise with the Niners, then you got the up and coming quarterback in Mahomes, and obviously the Swifties with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Mm-hmm. So I mean, the NFL got one of the premium Super Bowls they got for marketing. So I guess that leads us into. Our predictions for this for big bowl, bowl game Sunday. What a Super Bowl, man. You can go half first, man. Uh, hey, what you thinking? The last time these teams played was 2019. Yeah. Let's not forget the Chiefs was a Tyreek Hill prayer for losing. Let's not forget that. And I was gonna say the that uh the third and fourth the Niners picked that up, Garoppolo with the ball right. Yeah, and they probably would end the Garoppolo game. back then. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> like, was Debo on that team? Yeah, he was. Yeah, how long has Debo been in the league? He was in the league for a good minute. Well, Debo didn't have on? CMC. I don't think they had IU <laughs> though. <laughs> well, they, they didn't have CMC they either. Have, so they had moisture, <laughs> but. Moister, who's better, Moister to CMC? Well, come on. Like, all right, it's all right. they didn't have CMC in that backfield. Come on, man. So, just off, well, I would hope the Niners are going to do what we didn't do and run the ball. If CMC get going, you get that play action, you dump it off to Debo, you dump it off to, to CMC, you got Kittle right there still, Are you been balling. Boat, man. And that defense now Chase Young on one side, Bosa. Man, hear me out. And then the de- I already say, and then the defense, it might not be close. I'm not going to lie. It it might. I'm watching for that Usher Super Bowl halftime show. Because the actual show, the actual game ain't going to be close. I promise you. Huh? It's not going to be close. I yeah, got man. I got what's Niners a, by, by two what's scores. What's a score prediction, man? Niners by two scores. Two scores? Niners by two scores. Damn. So how do you feel about Brock Purdy real quick, like, like quarterback-wise? I, I like Brock Purdy. I do. He's – going back to what Cam he said. He's better than he Dak. He is a game – is he better than Dak? Right. So got now. some NFC quarterbacks. Right. Not even gonna compare them to the AFC. Just some NFC. So like guys. who'd you rather have? A quick who'd you rather have? Right now. Taking Brock. I'm taking Brock. He's twenty one and five and all of his starts. I'm taking Brock. At this very moment. I'm taking Brock. Yeah. Well, what were you about to say about Cam? When Cam was saying he was a game manager, yeah, not a game changer, I agree. I mean people are people are looking at it as it was a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. If you can go out there like a game changer is if if you're out, that team is nothing without you. Jimmy Garoppolo, we were just talking about. He took that same team in 2019 to the Super Bowl. I watched Lamar out. <laughs> I watched I I watched Lamar but, but not like, play. You feel like that's what because we are. 
the offense isn't built around Brock, and like y'all offense is kind of built around Lamar. If that's the case, though, right? We have <laughs> we have another Lamar at backup quarterback. <laughs> we got Tyler Huntley. No, y'all, bro, come on, bro. Tyler you Huntley and Lamar put, are the same, bro. You can't just put anybody in in the backfield of the Ravens. You can put that's what anybody. I, that's what I was saying. You like can the, put anybody in the backfield for the Niners. No, nah, that's what exactly what I was saying. I'm saying like, oh, so okay. y'all, y'all system is built based on y'all quarterback. Oh yeah, Kyle yeah, yeah. Shanahan builds his system based on the team, based on not even the team, based on schemes, right? Because right. he did he did the same thing in Atlanta with Matt Ryan, right? And Jimmy G, like you just bought, like mm-hmm. I like Matt Ryan won MVP, cool. They should have won that Super Bowl, cool. Mm-hmm. But like, come on, Matt Ryan back then. He, was he like a top five quarterback all the time? No, nope. but like he, he, like him and Brock. I said like him and Brock are similar in those stands. Like I could see, like if Brock didn't play bad against y'all the regular season, I could see Brock win the uh, MVP mm-hmm. just like Matt Ryan did. It's mm-hmm. so like they're similar in like those standards to me. Like I'm like like you said, but would you say like Matt Ryan's a a game changer? No, no. Nah. He was just this. good at playing quarterback. Let me ask you this. Is Deshaun Watson and Joe Burrow game managers or game changers? Joe Burrow's a game changer. Is he? Yes. You sure? Yes. Did you see the Bengals this year? Yeah. They, and I don't even like, I don't even like the, the play. Bengals. They borderline made the playoffs almost. Without them. They wasn't. Yeah, but were they going to win a playoff game? Making the play. That, that don't matter. It, they, they wasn't going to be no one that in these playoffs. Matter. It does matter. No. Because they would just no. be playing for... If playing for you, chips. If you go out week, playing for money. Week what? When did Burrow go out? Week nine. Week. Whenever we played him, and and I think it was week nine. Week nine. I think I'm gonna go with that. If I'm wrong, correct me. But um, I think they were six and two when he went out. Burrow. I think the Bengals were six and. It two. was barely five hundred with him. They was like know. five and five, five and they was five and four with them, because I okay. remember us beating them that Thursday night made them five and five. So they was five and four with Burrow. Okay. Burrow's out. They finished nine and eight. You basically went out there and won the same amount of games as your starting quarterback did. Well, he's he, Burrow did come into the season with his heel injury or whatever, so I feel like that never like. Fully healed. I don't see the pun there, but I don't know. I mean, then why? There's no way rest? you could call, bro, because you can't call a game changer who's beating Mahomes three times, bro. I mean, a game manager who's beating Mahomes three times, bro. Mahomes really only significant loss have been to Tom Brady and, and Joe Burrow. Regular season, cool. He loses the loss to the Raiders this season. He lost the. Uh, shoot, I don't know. Some other bad teams and begin the season. That's cool. But when money on the line, the only two people who's beating them so far is is Burrow and and Brady. And that's exactly why I'm taking the Chiefs in this game. I think until oh. until I see it with my own eyes, man, I can't bet against them, bro. I can't bet. I think it'll be a close game. It may be like last year. They may have to come back and win the game. Um, I feel like their defense is highly underrated, in my opinion, led by like Chris Jones, Ladarius Sneed, and the crew. I think they're just all as a unit defensively. This is probably their best defensive team they ever had. Uh, they play man to man defense, you know for fact. Like they play real good too. I will say though, y'all receivers aren't as good as the, Ch- the Niners, mm-hmm. obviously. So that'll be. And interesting. See how much they run man to man against um, the cheat the Niners scheme because you know Kyle Shanahan likes running. You know Chris McCaffrey out of that backfield too, throwing him out in passes with Debo. So that'll be interesting. But I think the Chiefs win in a close scoring game. I probably say I want to say twenty four twenty one or twenty seven twenty one. I don't know, man. I've, I guess we just gonna have to see. That's we just gonna have to see, man. This is what we we. 
how many times have we like been different on on like series? Well, last NBA year, I, and NFL. Well, NBA, I'm whooping your tail in, which we're about to talk about uh, after this video. <laughs> I'm whooping your tail in the in the finals. We went over this the other day. Okay. We don't even have to bring the stream into this. I've been whooping him since 20, 2019, 2018. So, but football, I I think I had the Eagles last year for good reason. I mm. forgot who you had. I think you had the Eagles too. Yeah. But I had the Eagles. I ain't gonna lie. I had anybody but the Chiefs. I, I and then we played. both had the Rams. We did. Prime. Yeah. Because I was not going for the Bengals. So <laughs> I was not. I had the Bengals all up until they played the Rams. But. Man, nah. I guess. Well, we differed this time. I <laughs> I trust my pick. I trust this year. It's not going to be close with it. I, I trust it. But, right. hey, man, that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Already know all that good stuff. Road to a thou. I think we like less than 50 away, man. So Help us get us there, man. Hit that sub. Share with a friend to share with another friend. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to be back with the basketball talks in the next video. So keep an eye out for that. Turn them post notes on. Shake it. But hey man, until the next episode, it's your boys Juice and Lou, and we out of here. Peace.